So for this video, I'm just going to show you how you actually subdivide the cap on a cylinder in Blender. Now, it's really, really simple to do, actually. Well, it just requires a few keystrokes to get it right. Let's head in and let's just pop a cylinder mesh down. So here it is. Um, just a very simple shape. It's a cylinder. And over here, if you want to play around with its options, like its vertices, so basically that's how many sides it's got. And the good thing about that is you can make either a very smooth cylinder or you can go even go down to kind of triangles and other polygons. Okay, so I'm going to set this to about 32. I want its depth to be maybe one meter. And I'm going to keep it like that. And there we go, we got a basic cylinder. Now, when we head into edit mode by pressing tab, one thing that you notice is on the actual loop cut, you can go horizontally and you can go vertical as well if you need to. But what you can't do is actually manipulate the cap. Now, the cap is the thing that frequently you want to subdivide so that you can use it to build a different structure on top, like a dome. Now, good way to do this, and I find this is a very simple approach actually, is head into face mode and click on the top face. And if you want the bottom face as well to kind of do the same thing, click on the bottom one. Now, how are we going to subdivide this? So I'm going to actually extrude it. And this does work. It's quite weird to do, but it does work. Press E. And then don't move your cursor, don't you move your mouse around, just press enter. Now, it doesn't look like you've done anything, but what you've actually done is created a ring around the cylinder. Then I'm going to scale that. So I'm going to press S and then I'm going to pull. Now, you'll see, though, that it's kind of moving inwards. It's kind of tapering downwards, which, it, again, I don't actually want. In order to stop that happening, if you hold shift and press Z, you you exclude the z-axis so when you actually press shift and z shift x shift y you tell it not to move along the so move it to where you want it to go and then basically just press your mouse button and there we go you see you have actually managed to subdivide or you know create a new ring around your cylinder it's really that simple to do um should be able as well on this to play around so if i wanted it to be 0.9 and then 0.9 and press enter and then i can actually plan the distance as well um, if i wanted to subdivide again click back on the two faces that i'm going to use again press e press enter press s shift z pull it inwards click 0.8, 0.8, and there we go. I'm actually pulling it inwards each time. Um, always make that mistake. Next one should be point now. Remember, if you if you want it to always be equal equidistant between these two, you'd obviously always need to do point nine because you're it's point nine of the thing you're inside. And um, that's it. That's how you can actually start subdividing the caps on any cylinder and obviously if you change that into a different number of sides it's the same technique.